Pete, thank you very much for the invitation to Birchfield Engineering in Dudley. Now, you guys are a general subcontractor, but tell us a little bit more about the background to your company. Um, well, the business has been established for now for over 30 years, um, and we are fundamentally a, um, a family-owned, uh, predominantly family-run business. Uh, employees totals, nine in total. Uh, we have a total of 13 CNC machines of various capacities and uh, abilities ranging from uh, two axis slades straight through to uh, bar machines and trucking machines with four Y axis uh, uh, twin spindle, twin sorries. Uh, our main um, uh, customer bases are probably to do with fluid technology, uh, medical, uh, materials handling and pneumatic hydraulic applications. Now today we're here principally on behalf of NCMT. They've sold you this fantastic uh, Akuma Genos L300 machine, but could you tell me why you've actually opted for Akuma? We were very keen to, uh, at the time, to upgrade uh, what was a, a fairly ancient uh, two-axis 10-inch chucking machine. Um, obviously keen to upgrade to a, a machine with C-axis uh, to incorporate some live tooling. Um, we were also very keen to actually go with uh, a brand that has obviously forged a very good reputation over the years. Um, footprint was very, ex very important to us because we are a little bit tight for space. Um, so the Akuma fit a, ticked a lot of boxes for us really, uh, particularly this Genos machine. Um, we have managed with the space available to actually sort of integrate the, 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 the Swarf conveyor um, and obviously with the, 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 the control uh, really was, was something that we needed to sort of take on board. Um, we're always keen to try and, and look at a new control. Um, so we're taking the, uh, the Akuma control on board. Um, has the be benefit been as well the driven tooling? Uh, obviously the driven tooling gives us a little bit more flexibility with this machine. Um, up to date, the majority of sort of driven tooling we've had has been on, on, on the bar machines that we've got, but uh, the ten, both this 10-inch chucker and the 12-inch chucking machine that we've got, uh, obviously we needed to implement uh, C-axis driven tooling, uh, really to enable us, as most subcontractors want to do, to, to, to enable more one-hit machining. And I suppose also with the Akuma brand, they've always been known to be very, very rigid, very good quality. Are you happy with the uh, back on the service from MCNT too? Uh, up to date, yes, we've had no problems with the machine. Uh, any 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 queries that we've had, we've we've had no issues in, in contacting NCMT. Uh, they've been very good to us so far. Uh, you know, they've been good at following up uh, since the machine has been commissioned and installed. Um, but yeah, in terms of the machine performance, uh, obviously we, we we've managed to sort of consolidate and improve a lot of cycle times. Obviously, the, the, the C axis driven tooling option gives us, you know, gives us more flexibility now. Um, finish tolerances, perfect, good. And I suppose in the future, if you're going to go down the route of the Akuma brand, would you actually buy another Akuma for Birchfield Engineering? Uh, we would definitely consider another uh, Akuma if it, if it fits if it, if it fits within the sort of you know the, the, the footprints and capacity and type of machine that we that we're looking for. Yeah. Pete, thanks very much for your time. Okay, thank you.